breaking news. Nigerians know that Sinumbu was not the winner. But I'm not surprised by Supreme Court's verdict, says Falano. You're welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. To the news details, carefully listen to the end. According to the news, Femi Falano, Nigerians' leading human rights lawyer and senior advocate, said he was in no way surprised by the Supreme Court's ruling, which paved the way for the president elect swearing in Ashwajibola Tenumbu of the ruling All Progressives Congress. APC on Monday, May 29. However, in a statement made by Falano on Saturday, we says, All Nigerians know and are aware that the mandate does not belong to Tenumbu. I will never be surprised if a court declares is in victorious. Falano explained this in an exclusive interview on Saturday. We call that the Supreme Court, in an unanimous decision by a five-panel, five-member panel, dismissed as unfounded an appeal by the opposition People's Democratic Party (PDP) to challenge Tenumbu's eligibility to run in the February 25th presidential election. It found that the appeal noted SCCV 501 2023 had been lodged in bad faith and stressed that the PDP, whose candidates, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, came second in the presidential campaign was deprived of a legal standing, this is a legal right, to challenge a nomination by another political party. The PDP, in its appeal, had asked the courts to annul Tinubu's candidacy, claiming that Vice President elect Senator Kashim Shetima had voted for more than one ahead of the 2023 general election. The court was told that Shetima had been nominated twice, both for the Bono Central Senatorial seat and for the position of vice president. But when speaking about the development, Femi Falano noted that he was not surprised since he knows the federal and appellate courts have dismissed the lawsuits and the legal luminary said the Supreme Court merely upheld the simultaneous judgment of the two courts. Femi Falano said, under the current electoral regime, everyone who has been cleared by INEC and received their certificate of return must be sworn in on May 29. That is the law. Nigerians actually believed that the election of the president was actually rigged. And they believed that Tenumbu did not win the election, but another party. But Femi Falano is now saying that he is not surprised of our courts, that our courts do not follow the right process. Our courts are always biased. And looking at the suit that was filed by the People, People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, they said he was not standing on legal, he's not standing, he's, he's not having a legal standing, that he's not having the legal rights to actually file a suit on that 
to another party and this what was actually the suit that was actually filed by the ptp PTP was actually one of the things in the electoral laws which says that a candidate must not have double nominations but kashim shetima who is the vice of putinumbu was standing on double nomination the first thing and next supposed to have disqualified him even before the election day and when I did not disqualify him after the election, the PDP took it to the court, or the court dismissed it. And he said, it's not surprised about our courts, and it's not surprised about the Supreme Court verdict. Because if care is not taken, they're going to surprise us, they're going to give us shock that Tunumbu actually won the election. And this is the court in which was actually built for people to come and uh, pardon, to come and file their petitions so that it can be resolved. So Femi Falano, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, already knows all these things. He knows it knows the politics, politicians, you know politics, you know, you know how they play their dirty games. So it, it the, the the judges might have been bots. Now look at the five uh, man panel led by Tesmani, why are they actually dismissing every petition that comes to them? Now, the, 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 one of the petitions of the PDP has been dismissed. We are, we are, they are take, hearing the loss, the suits of the Labour Party. But it will, not be, it will not be surprised. It will not be surprised that, we should not be surprised that the Supreme Court can do their biased might say it again by declaring Tinubu as the winner. So Falana said, Don't be surprised. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in to the end. What's your view or your take? Please share it in the comment section. Thank you.